Hi friends, this is Leslie and today I will be briefing you about importance of manpower in a small hospital. So here we go, first we need to understand what are the benefits of manpower planning. So to cut it short, to meet up the requirements of the organization, to counterbalance the insecurity and changes, it helps in tracking labor in balance. So going forward, it gives you the right sizing of human resources and requirement of the organization it also meets expansion and diversification needs of the organization it gives you training and development of the employee fulfilling individual need of the employee going forward it's help formulation of budget and it's check the joblessness so you have to uh, briefly plan your uh, manpower planning in any hospital in a small healthcare or in a big healthcare so going forward what is the aim or what should be the objective of manpower planning it's all written over here and you should hire a good hr manager actually to recruit the guys so going forward again it is the importance of manpower planning then there are two three skill which actually you should look for uh, the first should be the ROI and the second should be ensuring optimum utilization so you have to ensure these two with a, a pen and paper and you can you can you can go through the test of the uh, employee for which you are uh, recruiting so next is the benefits of manpower planning benefits of manpower planning we all aware that what all are the benefits benefits of planning it cost the uh, it cuts the cost then human resource actually utilize 60 to 70% of the hospital then uh, why hr is become the actual uh, thing for uh, healthcare organization and going forward uh, how important or how organized your hrd should be so you have to check it on a daily basis or a weekly basis or a fortnightly basis depending upon the availability of the promoter or the owner you have to also ensure respect and well-being for your employees here i have given you the model you have to talk listen and understand that is one aspect of hrd the second aspect should be uh, the level of trust which which comes with accountability competent concern integrity and you have to share the values then going forward what should be the model of the hospital or what should be the model of the hrd so it must come with openness trust proactiveness and autonomy again uh, here I have shown you